Today I'm really excited to show off a brand new capability inside of Tableau Online. As you can see here, I'm live in a web browser using a Tableau Online account. For those that may not be as familiar with Tableau Online, it is our hosted software as a service version of Tableau Server. In the cloud, no hardware for you to purchase, easy to spin up, ready to share interactive analytics with your clients, with your coworkers, with anybody. We've had a ton of success with people utilizing live data connections inside of Tableau Online to things like Google BigQuery or Amazon Redshift. Well, we're excited to announce that we now allow live data connections to hosted versions of MySQL, PostgreSQL, and Microsoft SQL Server. What this means is that if you are running a MySQL, Postgres, or Microsoft SQL Server database in EC2, Elastic Cloud Compute, um, with uh, Amazon Web Services or an Amazon Web Services relational database, RDS, um, or Microsoft Azure, if you have one of these databases in those hosted environments, all you need to do to allow a live data connection to Tableau Online content is to check this little box here and then go to wherever it is in your hosting provider. You can whitelist an IP address to come in. Uh, right here, um, we're going to be looking at a MySQL database in uh, RDS, Amazon Relational Database Services. And here is the document page which says very quickly how to edit a security group to allow a specific IP to come in. So what does that really mean? Well, what I'd like to do today is show you a really cool demonstration with some social media data updating live. OK, I've got Tableau Desktop Professional open in front of me, and I need to go connect to that social media data, which is sitting in a MySQL database up on Amazon RDS, a relational database service. Hosted, I'm not worried about hardware. I'm just connecting up to my database in the cloud, and I'm good to go knowing that that social media data is going to pump in live. So all I have to do is enter in some credentials here, a server, a username, and a password. And just like that, I'm going to go ahead and connect to my database. And there we go. Desktop Professional is now connected up to Amazon RDS in my MySQL database. I'm going to go after the table I know that has, there it is, that Twitter data that I'm after. And that's the database. Now here's the table. That looks good. Yep, that's the information I want. And now I'm just going to go ahead and go to the sheet. So we're in Tableau Desktop, and we've got our live Twitter data flowing from Datasift into our MySQL database in Amazon RDS. And I've got everything from authors to when they were created to link usage. I've got follower counts and cloud scores. But first, let's just get a feel for how big is this data set, or how many rows are we talking about, or how many tweets. So it looks like we're looking at about 117,000. Um, my next question is, uh, piling through this data, is over what time frame? Uh, 2014 to 2015, oh, but it's just Q4 and Q1, interesting. It looks like this is really just for um, the end of Q4, November, and December, and then the first part, January, and then through February. Let's keep going here. What if I want to look at this by day? There's by week, there's day. Okay, wow, that's a lot of Twitter activity. Um, seems to be running from November 25th all the way up to February 3rd, which is today. Um, I wonder if I can see this even by hour. Wow. Okay. So this data, data is super granular. Um, we've got 63 tweets from today alone. Now, let's bear in mind, this isn't tweets sent by the Tableau account only. This data SIF feed is set to look at all sorts of really, really cool stuff that's being talked about Tableau or hashtag Tableau or, or other things like that. If I wanted to narrow this just to the Tableau Twitter account, I could look by author name and there we go. Okay, so right, just a fraction of that Twitter data is actually being sent by Tableau itself. Well, I saw some other accounts in here that are actually kind of interesting that I kind of wanted to do a comparison on. Um, if I look at this one right here, Fitz Tableau, I happen to know who that is. That is actually the Tableau community manager, Tracy Fitzgerald. So if I wanted to compare her Twitter activity to the Tableau account's Twitter activity, and then you know what, for fun, let's go take a look at mine as well. Um, there we go. And so I've limited to just those three Twitter accounts. And now I'm going to go ahead and actually pull this out. OK, interesting. So 
really quickly, I've connected up live to my data sift data, flowed into MySQL and RDS, and I'm seeing a live feed of data inside a Tableau desktop um, that is looking at my Twitter account versus the Tableau community manager, Tracy Fitzgerald's Twitter account versus the Tableau Twitter account. And obviously the Tableau Twitter account, lots of activity. Mine, I'm kind of sporadic, although I was a little active on the 20th of January, and then Tracy, just a little bit. Hmm. My next question I think is going to be probably around followers. Let's go take a look at that. Let's go ahead and just duplicate the sheet that we already made here. So the real question I just want to ask is how many followers do, you know, does my account, does Tracy's account, does the Tableau account have? So this is less a question of time and more just a question of how many. And so if that's tweets and I've got follower accounts over here, okay, cool. So I've got about 697, Tracy's got about 244 Twitter followers, and then the Tableau account has just about, you know, 4,600, uh, 900. Um, let's go ahead and, yeah, right? So it looks like we're right on that one. All right, very cool. Well, this intrigues me, but I guess my next question is, I wonder if I could compare followers to Twitter activity, not just these three accounts, but us three as kind of a cohort compared to every other Twitter account that's in this data set. So let's try one more analysis. In thinking about how I want to do this next analysis, um, I'm thinking we should probably look at some sort of scatter plot that lets me group my account, Tracy's account, and Tableau account together, and then compares it against the total number of tweets. All right, so there's my scatter plot, but now I want to see it against all the other Twitter accounts in this data set, and there we go bump the size up a little bit there and make this easier to see. And what I can you know, figure out from looking at this is that the Tableau account as a corporate account has a lot of you know, tweets going out from it and a lot of followers, whereas you know, Tracy and I as individuals, a lot less. What's really fascinating to me though are some of these accounts down here that have an insane amount of followers. There's HubSpot, there's Airbnb. Right. This is actually really interesting, is if I'm trying to understand the social media ecosystem that Tableau exists in, right, this paints a really interesting picture for me. So with that, I think what I want to do now is take a look at the total number of, of tweets for the three accounts, the total number of followers, and this kind of scatterplot analysis I've done, throw it in a dashboard, and then publish it back up to Tableau online, knowing that it's going to be live. As is the paradigm in Tableau making that dashboard and then adding the sheets that we've already created to that dashboard super easy a couple clicks a couple drag and drops and we are almost done let me just do some light formatting on this so we can read a little better so here are my followers and here is the cohort analysis that i did and here's my time trend let me just take this little color legend and drag it out there we go perfect there and get rid of that and now the dashboard with all three of my analyses, there's my cohort analysis being interactive, ready to go in one spot, tells an interesting story. The coolest thing though, is that this isn't just live on my desktop, right? I can push this out to Tableau online with just a couple clicks and a bunch of different people can take a look at this, right? Could be coworkers, could be clients, pop in some credentials, gonna log into my Tableau online site and you know, it's gonna ask me what I wanna share. I will make a couple selections here. I'm going to name this social media, click publish, and that's it. Tableau Desktop is going to publish this up to Tableau Online. It's going to render it. Actually, let's get a good and take a look at this inside of a browser. Go ahead and log back in. There we go. Perfect. And here's the dashboard that I just published up, right? Just came up zero minutes ago. Go ahead and click this, and that's it. This is no longer on my desktop. This is online, ready for anybody to look at. And because the data never came back to my desktop, because it always lived in MySQL and continues to be live, right? this will continue to populate as I tweet more things. So let's do an experiment. I'm going to send out a tweet right now, and we'll see how long it takes to actually show up in this dashboard live on Tableau Online. If I go to the Tableau Twitter account, okay, here's a cool tweet that Tableau retweeted from Matthew Jesser, who's attending the Twin City Tableau user group, and looks like they had a really, really great turnout. So I'm just going to tweet at Matthew Jesser and just say, yay, Tableau user groups. Fantastic turnout. 
and I'll go ahead and throw that hashtag in there. Right. There we go. And I'm going to click tweet. And there we go. Okay. So I've just sent out that tweet, right? That is now from my account. If I hit refresh here, there we go. Fantastic. So if I go back to my dashboard, right, I'm going to give it a couple seconds because that, that tweet now lives in my Twitter account, right? Data Sift is going to pick that up and is going to pipe that into my MySQL uh, database sitting in the Amazon RDS, right? We're connected live to that Amazon RDS database via the Tableau dashboard that I published up to Tableau Online. And so what we should see here is as this updates, we're going to get that turned to three. Now let's just see how long that takes. I refresh this one time. And there it is. That number three right there just upped. That represents the tweet that I just sent out. It flowed right back into my dashboard. This is fantastic for Tableau Online users that have been wanting to be able to pipe live data connections from their MySQL, Postgres, or SQL Server um, hosted databases in EC2 or Azure or Amazon RDS into Tableau Online. 